Hello everyone, welcome to amazing world of science. Today we are going to see the continuation of why do we fall ill part 2. So, we will start from this. So, one reason that uh, why making antiviral medicine is harder than making antibacterial medicine is that viruses have few biochemical mechanisms of their own. They enter our cells and use our machinery for their life processes. For example, HIV AIDS virus enters our cells and uh, they modify the cell to produce more virus particles. In that way, they control our cells and they use our machinery. So, there are a, a few virus specific targets to aim at. Despite that, we have a lot of antiviral drugs which keep HIV AIDS under control. So, now we will see about the principles of prevention. So, but uh, there are uh, certain limitations when dealing with infectious diseases. The first one is that when someone has a disease, their body functions are damaged and they may never recover completely. The second is that the treatment will take time which means that someone suffering from a disease is likely to be uh, bedridden for some time even if the, uh, uh, we can give the proper treatment. And the third is that people suffering from infectious diseases may uh, serve as the source from where the infection may spread to other people. So, for example, a person having an infectious disease, so the infection can spread from other people in the case of COVID-19. So, how do we prevent the diseases? There are two ways, one general way and one specific way to each diseases. The general way of prevent, uh, preventing infections mostly relate to preventing exposure. So, ge the general way is something which we can do for all diseases and the specific, uh, specific way is different for each disease. So, uh, we should first check the pattern of the disease and we should know how are they spreading. For airborne, airborne microbes, for example, I told you that when somebody sneezes, uh, certain droplets are uh, released in the air. So, when an another person inhales it, the microbe can affect them. So, for airborne microbes, we can prevent exposure by providing living conditions that are not overcrowded. Uh, for example, in an overcrowded population, for example, overcrowding means there are a lot of people in one place. So, there are many chances of at least uh, some of the people being affected by some kind of infectious disease. So, since uh, as a case of overcrowding, there is not much space and for example, in the co uh, during the COVID-19 virus, so everywhere uh, if you go to the bank or the grocery store, you have to maintain 6 feet distance from uh, other people. So, uh, it cannot be possible in an overcrowded place. So, we should provide living conditions that are not overcrowded. For waterborne microbes, microbes which spread in water, so we can provide safe drinking water. So, this can be done by uh, treating water to kill any microbial contamination. We can also boil the water to prevent any microbes present in it. So, for vector borne infections, we can provide clean environment. For example, mosquito is a vector, it, uh, it carries the protozoan virus uh, in the case of malaria. So, for example, if you keep your surroundings clean, during uh, um, the rains, uh, you will have uh, accumulation of dirty water in the ditches. You can clean them, uh, which prevents mosquito breeding. So, for example, uh, our in immune system is normally fighting off microbes. We have actually cells that specialize in killing infecting microbes. So, they are, they are called macrophages and you have also RT, uh, mainly you have lymphocytes which uh, help in providing immunity. There are two types of lymphocytes, B lymphocytes and T lymphocytes. You will be learning about them in the higher classes. So, the cells go into action each time microbes enter the body. If they are successful, we do not actually come down with any disease. So, some uh, uh, cells such as macrophages, they engulf the microbes and prevents diseases. 
so if the number of infected microbes is controlled the manifestation of the disease will be uh, minimal so one way of looking at severe infectious diseases is that it rep- represents a lack of success of the immune system so the immune system cannot function properly and there are, uh, you might have heard a uh, some person in your family may have weak immune system which means that they are more susceptible to diseases so next uh, there are general ways of uh, preventing infections so uh, we talked just uh, talked about the general ways so what are the specific ways so let us see an example these days as you might know there's no smallpox anywhere in the world uh, only there are two smallpox samples in uh, uh, certain uh, two certain labs in the world so but uh, a hundred years ago smallpox epidemics were not at all uncommon so it was pres- uh, it was rampant everywhere so in such an ep- epidemic people used to be very afraid of coming near someone suffering from the disease since they were afraid of catching it however there was one group of people who do not have this fear these people will provide nursing care for the victims of smallpox there was a group of people who had smallpox early on and survive, survived it with a lot of scaring in other words if you had smallpox but there was no chance of suffering from it again so having this disease once was mean uh, was means of uh, preventing subsequent attacks of the same disease so um, it happens when the immune system first sees an infectious microbe so when an inf- infectious microbe enters the body the immune system fights it and then remembers it specifically so next time that a microbe enters the body or, or the immune system uh, uh, the immune system already rem- uh, remembers it and it will uh, respond uh, it will respond with great vigor so this eliminates the infection more quickly than the first time so this is the uh, concept of vaccination so we can now see that as a general principle we can fool uh, we can fool the immune system into developing a memory for a particular infection by putting something that mimics a microbe we want to vaccinate against in the, into the body so what do they do uh, in vaccinations is that they um, insert a weakened microbe or dead microbe into a body and the body thinks it as an acting microbe and it fights against it and remembers it and next time it actually the microbe actually enters the body uh, the uh, immune system is uh, more sharpened and will uh, react vigorously so many such vaccines are not are now available for preventing a whole range of infectious diseases and provide disease specific methods of prevention so there are vaccine vaccines against uh, tetanus diphtheria whooping cough measles polio and many others so there are many uh, public health programs of childhood so such a program can be useful only if all health measures are available to all children so sometimes in rural areas uh, vaccines are not uh, and health programs are not easily available for children the government is working around uh, to reduce this problem so some hepatitis viruses which cause jaundice for example hepatitis b you have vaccinations for that so hepatitis viruses are transmitted through the water there is one vaccine for one of them hepatitis a in the market but the majority of children in many parts of india are already immune to hepatitis a by the time they are 5 years old which is because they are exposed to the virus through the water under these circumstances will you take the vaccine so what is indicated here is that uh, there is actually a, vaccine, a specific vaccine for hepatitis a but most of the kids are uh, immunized because uh, hepatitis a is present in the transmitted in the water and they are already immunized uh, through it so when we have successfully completed the chapter why do we fall ill this is a very important chapter and it has a high weightage in your final year examinations so uh, take care to revise this chapter well and especially study the important points such as uh, what are the diseases caused by viruses bacteria learn that well and about the vaccination programs and the prevention they are really important for you as well as in your higher classes 
सो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो बाय